Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend, science, astronomy, and telescopes. Well, I hope at least one of them. Behind me here, I have found a new mount. As you guys can see, this is the Skywatcher HEQ5. Now this is the black version, the like first or second generation, the non-go-to version. Very similar to my EQ6s. I got two EQ6s, again, the same type. I believe one of them is the first generation and the one is the second generation. I believe this is version two because it has this button here which is a illuminator. So that's for the polar finder and it makes it brighter or dimmer. And then on this one, it just didn't have it. So I believe this is version one and version two. Now, so this is the HEQ5. It's the same thing. This is the non-go-to version. And with this version, you do have a polar scope here built in, which is nice. Comes with one 11 pound counterweight and what's nice is this goes up now it only has the vixen uh, head but i will be mounting this guy on here so that way i can have a dual vixen or lasmandis very similar to these ones that have both of these are red which matches the red accent and the lettering uh, however, since I only have a silver one already that was on my Vixen Great Polaris, I'm just going to use this. Over here is where your hand controller goes in. It, of course, it just has up, down, left, and right, north, south, 2, 8, and 16 times sidereal. Um, and that's about it. So it has built-in drives, but nothing else. And I will probably be selling my great vixen now this is the great vixen tripod but right now uh since this did not come with a tripod just the mount itself the power for it which uh someone i i got it from somebody that we dealt with a few times and he made a variable um volt meter for this guy and so it just came with the weight the mount the hand control and the power for it so I will be selling Vixen Great Polaris. So as you guys know, a lot of times I do comparison videos out there or just um, videos in general uh, and reviews and that type of thing. And with these ones, at least it comes already driven. And with that one, it's not driven. So sometimes when I do videos, I have said like, oh, I wish I had a driven scope going to be selling that one off um, and someone's coming to look at it tomorrow uh, they're not sure if they want the legs or not because they might use their own tripod uh, if they don't take the legs I will use these legs on it and it's it makes it a very portable let me just take off the hand control I'm gonna mount some uh, velcro on here and then that way it's not gonna just fall on the floor kind of light medium ish and tripod that I can do and I don't need the EQ6 um, if he does take the tripod I will probably what I was thinking is you know I have two tripods here the ones on the the, the EQ6s which are two inch what I could do is just take the head out put the other one on uh, mount it from below and then just use the HEQ5 that way I guess that can work but normally I like to have my tripod uh, and mount all already set up I'm um, just gonna change that head like I said so that's why I mean I, I really like the Vixen Super Polaris Great Polaris they're one of the best made manual mounts you could probably get a one step for it or I know uh, previously the person before that had a ASGT motors on it. So it was like a go-to. Um, I don't mind actually having at least one mount that's manual and just use slow motion controls. If it was just for me, I think I would, have, I would keep it. But because I do so many videos, sometimes I 
or most of the time, it's just easier to have a tracking mount. It just makes my videos a lot cheaper. So when I saw this one for sale, I just picked it up. It wasn't super, super cheap price, but I figure I better just get it. it. Wasn't expensive either, but I figure I'll just get it. Maybe I could have waited to see if the price would have dropped a little bit, but these come up so rare, as well as the EQ6 non-go-to, so rare on the internet and used market that I didn't want to take a chance in waiting a couple weeks and see if this could have dropped by another $50 or $70 or something. So it was a good price, but maybe I could have got it uh, cheaper, I suppose, if I could have waited, but I didn't want to take that chance. Anyway, guys, I think that's what, uh, so that's what I did. I'm going to sell off the Vixen because remember too, I also have the SV Boney 225AZ, which is for quick grab and go, lightweight. I take it when on airplane travel and for solar viewing. Uh, the two EQ6s are my more uh, beefier mounts. And this, this one's gonna be my mid mount now when I don't need something quite that big and heavy. I can just take this and at least it's already driven. And I hope I don't regret it in the future, you know, but they're very compatible uh, type of mounts, but that's it. It's really only because it's, it, you know, driven. That's about it. It just makes things a little bit easier when I do the videos. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll come back in a little bit and we'll see if we can attach this head to it. So the way I done these is I just put a small, like eight inch Vixen bar down here. I put it really tight. And then I just screw in the dual mount into the Vixen bar and that's really it. Now I know there's a company out there that you can just change this head to like take this off and then this bolts directly into there. So the only thing I'll be saving is this guy. So that, you know, so if you change this part, you take out these screws here and this top part comes out and then this screws directly to there. So really, I'm just gonna save that, but I believe it's like $45 American. Uh, you know, if I would need the one, two, and now three, and then plus the shipping, plus the duties and taxes and tariffs, I just don't think it's worth it. And this I've actually had for over a year, and it works really well like that. So I think I'm gonna do the same. So step one is just to put a Vixen bar. Step two, is just to align the holes and then just put it on and then there you go you got a dual mount okay guys this took like literally less than five minutes so as you can see i got the vixen bar in the original slot and i have these really tight so there's no movement i normally like to have the screw uh, longer because then if it ever slips it's going to have a stop uh, on both sides one at the bottom so like that you know it's not going to slip off this here and uh, there you go i usually put the uh, opposite side this wherever the original screws are so you don't collide with them and now you have a dual mount head there we go pretty easy and so i just screwed it there and there and it's enough i mean it's not tied down but there we go nice solid and that's it okay guys like comment and subscribe i'll see you on the next video if you know anybody getting into the hobby please share my link i have members video where once a month i post a video just for the members why not you why not me